so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! And today, we get to go on this really big boat! Whoa! It's enormous! <laughs> yeah! I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah, and this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah, this is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can say super safe. <laughs> yeah, but look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hat. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian, and he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. <laughs> well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west in which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, she's a real life marine biologist. Ooh, 
<laughs> Hi, Mackenzie. Hi. Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa! Can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa! Look at all his legs! <laughs> yeah! How many legs does he have? Whoa! Hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. Oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of those little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And, and what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. <laughs> Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with <laughs> the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusk are snails, but they will also make their own homes. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> ah, whoa, and it looks like, yeah, it's a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa, <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa, 
Hey, Mackenzie, is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things, too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It hmm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one is fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. And they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn. And it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah! Let's look! Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see the dolphin? Yeah! Hello! We see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa! This is so cool! Whoa, look! They're so close! Hello! They're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. 
Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because mm, it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah, and they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup, <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah, and they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah, he's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So, when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> yeah. And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. Start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we want to make it look like the actual ocean. So we're going to put a little bit of blue food coloring. Just one drop. One. 
and maybe we'll put a second one. Ooh, that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. All the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa. Look, this one's like a little spiral shell? Hmm, then I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye! <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water, the only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top. Almost to the top. <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing. <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We wanna keep it nice and clean. So, we're gonna take some of this. Plumber's tape, and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't wanna mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape. And you have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa, look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo!